Hello, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Baron Ecology Sports. So in a matter of moments, our League of Legends team will be going up against Upper Iowa University as part of the College League of Legends series. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to play Trine earlier. There was a reschedule request, and that match will be on Tuesday at 5 o'clock. So we're still playing. It just wasn't today. Uh, earlier today, we had our Rocket League team and our Overwatch team go up against some very good GLEC schools. Uh, unfortunately, the matches were not in their favor, but we're going to see how things go in uh, today's match in League of Legends. So since everyone's in the lobby, they could start at any second. Let's take a look at the uh, roster for our League of Legends team. So in the top lane, we have Senior Aaron D, uh, MC Lyco Stradiata. Uh, in the jungler, we have Kyler Wheeler Raelic. At mid, we have sophomore Leah Witzikowski Muki one two three four five. At ADC, we have senior Ian Darling Brimstone Bro. And then at support, uh, we have freshman Bethany Holstein Maxibu one zero one. Uh, but yeah, so just to kind of give uh, an update with uh, how things have been going for the League of Legends team. So if I look at C Law, um, looks like they are one. They're one in three right now in C Law, uh, and they are two and one in the JLDC. So overall, doing doing okay, all things considered. But um, we'll see if we can have a favorable matchup uh, with this one. Uh, we did get word about the Teemo Cup for C Law, so hope to talk to the team about getting registered for that because I do not believe playoffs is uh, in contention anymore. I think you have to at least be six and zero or five and one uh, in the regular season. But there is still a Teemo Cup, so there'll be more games for our League of Legends Legend team in addition to the GLEC. Uh, so while we're waiting, we'll go over a couple of quick announcements. So, so we have our schedule here. Now, granted, most of our matches have already occurred, but once again, just as a reminder, that our League of Legends team will be returning next Tuesday at 5 p.m. So please be sure to come back to check that out. It's going to be an exciting match. Marriott has played trying a couple times last semester. So we'll see how things go this time around. Tomorrow, speaking of League of Legends, tomorrow we will be hosting a League of Legends tournament for Esports Ohio. This is part of a, a kind of a recruitment effort where we're offering scholarships for those who participate in the tournament. So we have three teams registered. I'm still working on the bracket, actually, and all the logistics, so I will get that to Esports Ohio uh, after this broadcast. But uh, that will be starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So please be sure to check that out. It's going to be uh, exciting uh, watching some of the League of Legends teams go at each other. Everyone who participates will receive a $1,500 scholarship uh, if they attend Marietta College for esports, and the winning team would walk away with $2,000 scholarships uh, each. Now, the following Sunday, we will be hosting an Overwatch tournament for esports Ohio schools. So if you play Overwatch and you are affiliated with esports Ohio, make sure you get your team signed up for that. The deadline is this coming Friday, February 26th. Uh, so... I hope to, to see you there. I know last week with the Rocket League match, it was a lot of fun, but uh, it was just, yeah, it was really enjoyable, and I'm really excited to see uh, how tomorrow goes. Uh, also, speaking of scholarships and recruitment and all that, we do give scholarships for our uh, esports tournament. Hey, how's it going? What's up? I'll get share. Yeah, right. yeah, go ahead. All right, we are going to have a special guest here to help with commentating our League of Legends match here. But uh, while we're getting all that set up, uh, we, uh, as I mentioned, we do offer scholarships. So if you are a graduating senior, uh, you can sign up for a trial. Now, grant, the graphic up here is a little outdated because it's not February 13th anymore. But we do have a couple of tryouts set up for, uh, I think we have one on March 6th. And then we have an, uh, an in-person scholarship set up uh, later on. Now, I think I'm getting the ready checks in, so I might come back to this graphic uh, after the uh, champ select because it's already started. Uh-oh. <laughs> so let me get auto and everything going. Here we go. Marietta College versus Upper Iowa uh, University. I almost said anniversary. I don't know why I was thinking <laughs> that. We're seeing uh, Marietta is going to be banning out the Galio. So now we're going to see what Upper Iowa does. They're going to ban the Udyr. Yeah, nice. yeah. Very popular right now in current meta. It's about like, like introduce yourself to everyone since you're yeah. now joining us. Hi, uh, I'm Dylan Shoulders. You've probably seen me a couple times. 
here and there. And everywhere. And everywhere, yes, yeah. there you go. All right, we're gonna see. Ooh, a lot of jungle bands. Yeah, they're. Rayla gives Marietta's strongest player, so I think they're gonna try to bend about limit his jungle pool. We saw that last week uh, when Marietta went up against Grand Valley State. I mean, I do like these bands. So Udir is popular, is uh, a really big word. It's also super dominant. It is terrifying everybody for like, oh, literally a split. It's insanity. Mm -hmm. Rek'Sai also really good. Mm -hmm. And then Hecarim, I do like that band as well because you never, I don't like seeing a Hecarim, a dead Hecarim in my solo queue games. Yeah, it's an interesting choice because uh, Relic has played a lot of Hecarim. So this is, it's definitely saying that he's not playing it and he doesn't want Upper Iowa to mm. play it. And they're gonna go with the Seraphine first. Great flex pick. Yep. We can, she can be mid, she can be support. I've seen her at ADC. Ooh. So she can be just about anywhere. Probably not jungle, but. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh. And we're gonna see the Yumi being locked in right away along with the Nar. Mm -hmm. Yumi is it's so fun to play as and so annoying to play against. <laughs> Yeah, Nara is one of those champions that, if you if played right, is utterly terrifying in lane. Not including that with his alt form, your jungle just kind of looks at you. It looks at his top laner is like you're not gonna see me for a while. Heads up. And then the Renekton. Renekton has been very OP right now in the current mm. patch, so not surprising. Uh, Lyco has been playing him a lot in the top lane very hard to lane against he's yeah a, he's a really good lane bully yes and it's really nice I don't, I don't know who like i like more in terms of that matchup in terms of um just in lane renekton's really good however nar during a team fight is can be really clutch at times so then we also see the senna mm -hmm. very nice i think what do you think marietta is going for here i'm not sure i, I think right now they may be going more with comfort picks. I don't mm. think they're necessarily going for a specific comp. They're, they definitely want the Seraphine Flex. They've been doing that a lot. So Yuki can play it, Maxi can play it. So I think they're just trying to see what composition Upper Iowa is going to do. And then they can decide where they want to put that Seraphine. So like now they know that Yumi's at support and that's going to be a Lux mid. So then it's just a matter of, do they want the Seraphine to go up against the Yumi? Or do they want the Seraphine to go up against the Lux? Yeah. So we're seeing a, the Katarina and Echo Beam ban. Um, very interesting. Katarina, I mean, I, I don't know. Very, very interesting. I think, I think they know where they want to put the Seraphine, so they're trying to. So they maybe think about putting her in mid, or maybe they have some particular mid laner in mind, and they do not want to get countered by Katarina. And then there's the Scarter. So a ban, uh, all jungle bans over here against Marietta, and then there's the shadows. a lot of jungle bands. It makes you wonder what junglers are going to be coming out. So Olaf is still pretty good. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, Rayleigh play that a bit. Uh, there's still Zack. I mean, depending on what he wants to do, he can either... He's still good. There's still a couple, like, jungle... Uh, there's a Sejuani. Yeah. All right, so we got, like, um... I'm really liking what they're doing here with the Sidrani and all of her abilities. That's a lot of CC. Nar also some pretty good CC. Yumi and Lux CC. So that's going to be really hard for Marietta to deal with. Yeah, it it, it seems like Upper Iowa is kind of going with a press R combo uh, yeah. composition. So all the champs are just press R, and if Marietta's grouped up, they're oh, dead. Yeah. Nautilus. Okay, so that means it's a Seraphine mid. Mm-hmm. So they're saying, you know what? I'll play that Seraph. I'll play that against the Lux. That's fine. Let's now we're gonna see what uh, Rayleigh wants to play in the jungle against that Sejuani. I mean, are there any jungle picks left aside from maybe uh, Olaf? Olaf is good. There we go. He knows how to play it. The, the problem with Olaf though is you gotta kind of win at 20 minutes because he starts. Uh, he's not as strong in the late game. Yeah, but if he gets an early lead, if he gets some of that uh, attack speed, he just go. He's almost like a jack. He's just cramming down with his axe. Just go, da, 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 da. Well, this will be very interesting. I want. Are they still gonna pick the? A lot of AP. A lot. I'd be very surprised if they did that as a Vigar yeah. bot. I, I mean, wonder. 
Oh. Diego's van. Oh, no. Hold on. Time out. You can't do that. Diego's van. Yep, they can't. Uh, yeah. Yep, they cannot pick him. He's still banning Zillow. It's all right. Yep. That's all right. They didn't know. We're going to reset everything here. We're going to go back and redo champ select. So, um,. So what will happen here is just they will redo all the picks and bans except for that last one. Yeah. So we're just gonna get this reset back up. I was about to say if that wasn't banned, I was about to like lose my mind. Like, oh yeah. no. Which reminds me, I forgot to do predictions. I am so bad at this. Ooh. Yeah, we had a new feature here where you can uh, we've enabled channel points. Oh, all right, all right. I see. So now you can wager those points to predict who do you think is going to win this first game. All right, I, and, I don't know. Oh, interesting. Yeah, well, we're uh, just kind of dealing with some questions. Uh, everything's going to get set up in just a moment. Yeah, just kind of clarify. They were, Upper R was not aware that Viego was banned. And that, that's fine. I mean, no harm, no foul. Yeah. Uh, just trying to explain that, yeah, they, they've had him banned since the beginning of the tournament. He's just, I mean, he's not, it's not just because he's OP, but apparently there's like some major bugs with him. Like I don't even think he's playable in the LCS because of the of the problem. So if he's banned in LCS, <laughs> yeah, we're just getting some things clarified. And <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I, I think Upper Iowa is kind of new to this tournament, which is fine. I mean, every, everyone starts somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so they're just trying to figure out how this all is done. No harm, no foul. And... Yeah. But, I mean, I, I've played Viego a little bit, and that would have been mm -hmm. interesting. And of course, Brimstone had to troll and say, well, we, we get the win because you picked a, ba a band champ. It's like, like, no, you don't yeah. automatically get the win for that. Nice try, nice. Brimstone. Nice try. Brimstone being a uh, being a troll over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just kind of going through everything. Yeah, so all the jungle bands. Uh, yeah. Here at same bands, same picks, everything from before. So now that we have, oh, please, now we know Marietta's composition. What do you think of it? Who? Um, I think that it was. It's very obvious that the the pick, like the bands are specifically targeted against Rayleigh because a lot of time you're probably sitting there and you're like okay well there's a couple champions here that I would be really good in this situation right like Udyr obviously should be picked up oh, that's banned um another one would be like you know what they're they've got um that we need some kind of like in, engage or anything so like let's go with uh Hecarim oh can't do that one either you know what, uh, I think Lux is kind of dangerous. We should probably get rid of her. Oh, Evelyn and Echo are banned. So Olaf, though not a bad pick, and I think does go well into Sajwani and Tanar, I think we're going to start seeing that Relic's going to be like, hurting a little bit. However, overall, I, I'd i have to say from what I've been seeing, I'm going to have to go with... Uh... Upper Iowa, actually. I think I like I like their stuff a little bit more. I think that once they hit a certain point in the game, if they can make it to mid game, I think you'll start seeing the power of all their champions really coming alive. Okay, yeah, it's just coming down to can they utilize their ult properly in a team fight? Yes. Because if they can do that, which is just the press R, sorry I did, they press R at the same time. Now Mary has to be grouped up for that, but if they do it, then then that might be. Yeah, but then again, we haven't seen what the last pick is. Yeah. And, and Marietta has some, some possible engage, too. It's not so much like the press. I mean, with uh, the Seraphine getting like a huge charm out on everyone, mm -hmm. the depth charge with being able to get an engage and a, a possible knockup. Senna can be in the back line with the shield. And they're going to go with a Kali for. Wait. 
Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. That's a Lux bot. Oh, no. Ooh. Um. Uh, well, this will be interesting. Have you seen this before? No, not, not in a while, no. No, I mean... I've seen Vigar bot. I've yeah. seen Heimerdinger bot. I've I, seen Swain bot. I've never seen a. I've seen Lux bot, but as support. Yeah, I, I've I've seen it before, but I'm not entirely sure how viable it is. But it. Let's see. Like, with between like. I mean, I'll be completely honest. They're getting ganked. They're about to get ganked a lot. I would be ganking them all the time because, mm -hmm. like, if one wrong move from Lux. And like Yumi and her are dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I yeah. I can see Raelic deciding to target the uh, the bot lane quite a bit yeah. uh, in this matchup. However, on the opposite side of the spectrum, if you see a lot, if there's a really huge Sejuani present, that's going to get scary for Brimstone very quickly. Maxi's going to have to take a lot for Brimstone. Between Yumi, which can slow, and then heal, which might which might be the difference in this case. Yeah, I believe uh, I was jungler is their best player. Oh, this will be that will be scary then. Cause... Yeah, so I think if we had to pick a lane for the X Factor, I think it's going to be the junglers. It's going to come down to Raelic versus. Senpai. Love that, Dave. Yeah. So, so I, I think, I think right now, I think that's worrying me is just how, as this game's going to be decided by the junglers and how well they're able to gank. But mostly, I think it's going to be decided when one lane falls hard behind the other. Because mm -hmm. I think if like Renekton or Nar can't help their team then i think that that the team the opposing team is going to be all over that instantaneously because a collie if they're skilled enough you can just kind of go seraphine and Sen are going to be like outed immediately lux and yumi if they're able to get ahead long enough they should be a really good combo together and they do, and Lux, if uh, built properly, can do a lot of damage. Yeah, I guess it comes down to like if if Brimstone and Maxi decide to do a, add a little bit of MR. Yeah. Then they should be able to win that lane. Should be. But then the the problem with that is if they go with a little bit more MR, then if a Kali becomes a threat, yeah. there's not much they can do. Yeah. So I mean, it's a good choice in Upper Iowa to go with an AD mid. If they went with an AP, then you just <laughs> just stack MR and you win. Yeah. So that that is an interesting choice. I would I would probably still go for the MR because I think I think Senna can beat Lux just in the one v one in the lane. So if and, and Brimstone, he's been doing very well. I think he's at plat level right now, and I don't believe Luna is. So I think he can win that lane. I, all right, yeah. I like in turn. I like the comp. Uh, that's hard actually, because like a minute like, as soon as I saw um Ollie, I was like, wait, that's not not an ADC. Have changes there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This will be an interesting game. Interesting. We we'll see what hap What's happening? But. Mm -hmm. Well, we are gonna start loading up into the game, so we will have that here in just a second, making sure that. All the UI settings and everything is good to go, and everything is good there. What's everything? Yeah, oops. And of course, we're gonna go with the the KDA Akali skin. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to. <laughs> like. like Shout out to True Damage set of Prestige Edition. Shout outs, because okay. I love that skin. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for everything to load up. Not loading. Start loading game. There we go. 
me get that and everything and get my audio set up because I can't hear everything. There, there we, we go. go. And here we are. Marion College versus Upper Iowa University. Marietta will be on the blue side. Upper Iowa will be on the red side. And it uh, looks like Marietta is going to be doing a bot lane invade. Yep. We got Nautilus. Renekton's terrifying. Olaf slows. Yeah. Got to go for it. Yeah, and Upper, upper Iowa is doing the classic five point. They're not going to see this coming. Oh no. Yeah, Lux and Yumi are just. Well, they're going to continue going. They're going in. Going deep into the jungle. Oh no. I feel like I'm watching a bad movie. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> uh, and they got so lucky. They saw Nautilus. Mm -hmm. Although I. They didn't put down any wards. I mean, you, you got up that far into the jungle and you don't ward it? Come on. Minions have spawned. I, I don't know. Why? Yeah. The Upper Iowa at least got a ward onto... Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. They got two deep wards now. Which will let them know everything. Yeah, they're going to know that all three of them are there. So now they know where Relic is starting. Like, just why did they not... I don't know, just the, the lack of a ward there really surprised me. Oh. Alright, he's a little bit late to lane, so... They're gonna be a push to... Oh. Oh! Fight's already level 1, and Lux! Lux! There's the flash. For yeah, forcing that flash! Ooh. Well, that's very nice. Looks like bots... We know how bot side's gonna go. And it's not gonna go super well for Upper Iowa. Raids. Ooh. Brimstone just making Luna pay for it every second she's in the lane. Seeing both junglers half uh, down a bot. The Drani already uh, doing blue. Yeah, we didn't even really talk too much about the Seraphine and Akali matchup. I feel like Akali is going to have the advantage there. Mm -hmm. However, um, if... Uh-oh, there's Meganar. However, I mean, Mewki's been playing the matchup pretty well. Fully pushing the wave back. Drawny is already on Scuttle. Top side is pretty even for the most part. This is what is going to get. Uh, he's caught out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, Relic is hanging at like, but we're seeing. Locks getting that low, low has to burn a heal. Well, actually, no, that's just a yeah. normal Yumi heal. And that's, I think, that's the the power of Yumi in this case. Oh man. Uh. You see that Kali is the threat. I'm gonna try to catch her, but. Not gonna get any summoners out of that though. Mm, Renekton just taking a lot of hits though. Yeah, he's gonna be careful. He's getting poked down. He's playing very aggressively. Right. But still, he has a decent CS lead. Mm. Considering it's not even five minutes into the game. Go. There's the gank. Just slow. 
There's the flash. flash. And it, oh, there's the Sejuani. Uh oh. 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 They're still going after that. Three, gnar, oh, no. I don't think Sejuani is uh, tough enough to really kill Relic. Yeah. Oh, uh, but. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a two for one. I'm like. Very well played. Like, very well played by Relic and. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Renek is like, Renek didn't seem pretty good as well. The dragon is up, it is infernal. Some CS, bit of a bit of a noof, but you know what? It's, it's all right for him. So, happens to everybody. Ah oh, man. Yeah, just ooh, bots just not looking good. Crap, It's just it's a Juan, not Sejuani. I was gonna be like Sejuani's dude. No, Senna is. Has a very nice CS lead. This, I think, the only lane that um, Marietta doesn't have a lead in is actually mid, which is not surprising considering that it's an uh, AD assassin going up against a mage, which that, I would expect to happen. That does mean that Akali is is going to be a big threat later on, so Mary doesn't have to be aware of that whenever they get to the mid and late game. Yeah, we're seeing Brimstone having a very nice lead in that bot lane. Almost 30 CS ahead of the Lux. I, however, will give Luna this. They have not died once, especially in this kind of lane. So they're waiting for their opportunity, which I, I have to admit, like, after everything that's happened, I would have expected them to die, like, at least, like, at some point during this. Even though they are getting, uh, zoned out. Yeah, and there's the dragon. Yeah, Ray looks going to be able to get that undetected without any issues, no vision there. There's just not much that, uh, that could be done. It caught. Destroyed. The Senna ult might have been a little overkill. Just a tad. But that does free things up for Yuki, so that way she can push her lane a little bit, try to catch up and see us. Ooh, Renekton. Renekton, no. Renekton, just don't do it to him. And one thing I also didn't notice in the bot lane until now, I mean, Grimstone's done such a great job of, of zoning out Luna that he's actually two levels ahead. So it's not just that he's ahead in CS, but he is ahead in levels. Yeah. Well, big uh, ulti there. Yeah. But I, mean, I wouldn't recommend trading with Nar and, and Ultimate. Uh, Death Charms comes out. Uh, Luna, no. Whoa. Yeah, Death then, uh... Can't do anything. Sejuani, oh man, Sejuani and Sue. Ooh. Oh no. Brimstone Bros dead. The return. The mid laner is doing so much. There's fighting up top. Ooh. So that, and Rayleigh goes down. Yeah, it gets slowed down. So that ended up being a two for two. So it's just an even trade there with the shutdown. So that actually was an advantage uh, to Upper Iowa. Mm -hmm. Good. Ah, by Sushi Rice. My gosh, saving the team. Actually, it was three deaths, but Maxi got executed, so the the, uh, the credit didn't go to Upper Iowa. The good thing, otherwise, that would have been a win for Upper Iowa. So that, not a very good dive by Marietta with, with that. I mean, it started well, but they needed to get the one kill and get out. Yeah. I mean, 
It was, it was like it was going well up until Akali showed up because uh, real like Sizwani couldn't do anything. Um, they had already lost, I believe that was uh, Lux, and then just really was so low from the dive. Uh, uh, for a minute, I was afraid you were gonna pull a scar and say they were winning until they lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that is fair. <laughs> They were doing so well. And then it went. So right now, about ten and a half minutes into the game, Marietta is up by a considerable amount of gold, about three point eight k, uh, three point seven, three point eight k gold, which is quite a bit at this point. And it's really coming down to the CS differences. So we would a nice try there by Muki. Nice, slow. And will Rayleigh could be able to get the follow up? He's going to chase it down, forces the flash, gets the slow from the axe. And he's gonna get the execution. Gosh. I was just about to say, it's not even just the CS differentials, like in the bot lane, but even the top lane, we see that uh, Lyco is up by about 25 or so CS. So that is making a difference as well. Yeah. Overall, it just looks like it's gonna be Marietta's game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're yeah, considering the gold differential in the bot lane. Uh, in fact, let's just take a look at that gold differential. Just so we can see where it is. Oh my! Brimstone's got two thousand gold over his opponent. That's almost a full item difference. So he's having a, a really good, really good laning phase. This might have been one of the better ones that I've seen all se uh, season for him. I, I really like what Renekton's doing. Just kind of going in, pro like proccing the, it's like proccing the ability, getting out. Crocking the room and getting out that way, and every time he actually trades, it doesn't run a factor anymore. Let's mm -hmm. yeah, see, Ocean Drake's leaving up in 30 seconds, so you would think that. In fact, Rayleigh's right now trying to take Rift Herald, and I would expect him to go straight for the Ocean Drake after that. Mm -hmm. Marietta already has the Drake Pit uh, uh, heavily warded, so if Upper Iowa were to make a play, Marietta should be able to, to catch it. I think it's going to be hard for them to do that because like, their top and bot lanes are getting pushed out pretty heavily. Oh, really? Just... Really just gets the uh, the kill onto Senpai. But now it looks like Overall is trying to get trying to collapse on the Relic, but. Uh, both Lyco and Yuki are there to help. They may be targeting uh, Nacha pr uh, Problem. And the Meganar is going to get triggered. I just got to be careful. He I was about to say careful. That's going to happen. But he's fine. Oh, no. Probably gonna try to get the jump onto Rayleigh, but he's pretty tanky at this point. Five, one, and two with 100 CS. Yeah, he's gonna go straight for the Ocean Drake, and Upper Iowa does not even know that this is happening. Not entirely sure they'd be able to do anything you think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Like, I don't know if the top laners have had to use their teleport ship. Yuki burned hers to get back into lane. Rift Herald does get some, and that's going to put some pressure in the mid lane. You know, Rayleigh's going to... I think he's going to... Uh, he's going to try to steal blue buff, but it's already gone. Yeah. The body's just on factor. All her chance gets... Is being, are being stolen. She can't help bot lane, or Rayleigh's going to show up. It's not a good feeling. Yep. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Yeah, we see in bot lane, like, Brimstone is almost 100 CS ahead at, at 14 and a half minutes. <laughs> Kudos to Brimstone, but nice. Uh oh. Nacho problem. Again and out after another as a another disadvantage uh, trade. 
Would you say that escaping from is not a problem? <laughs> then, Although, the, the, the death is a problem. <laughs> Your problem. But uh well, apparently it is. Sorry, I you know me, I, I had to do that. Oh man. No. So, all right. Don't do so, it to us. So we're just gonna go. Rail it, go. Seeing Yuki's waiting for the possible engage. A great oh, charm onto the Akali. Oh, oh. And gets the hook. Oh, down the root. Oh. And they the all. Dax. It's over. The Marriott claims the mid lane, the tower, and they're going to get the inner tower. Already at an 8.4k gold lead at 16 minutes. I am. Oh no, it's a body. The drone's gonna get caught half health. The Yumi all does oh. come out and the oh. hot beam. Oh no. We pressed a bunch of R's, but Merida was not grouped up in there. I was a little behind, so not having enough damage to take anyone down. But the fight's not over yet. Yeah, this is just not in Upper Iowa's favor. It's just, oh. Oh, no, the Neganar. Gets three of them. Oh, uh, he dies. Oh, no. It's all falling apart. We're just going to flash in. going to take out Yumi. They are going to try to take out Relic. Can he get out? He doesn't have his flash. He's going to get shut down by the Akali. Mary's going to be careful. They've been, I think they've overstayed their welcome a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah! Oh. Hmm. I mean, nice one from Brimstone. Mm -hmm. oh. So we're gonna steal some rafters. Bounties of plenty for Marietta. So Cloud drinks up in 50 seconds. <laughs> but I would expect Marietta to get things set up for there. Already flagging minions, they go down there, grab the minions, and then head straight over to the Drake. So. Yeah, considerable, yeah, almost 100 CS still ahead. Uh, Laiku's up by almost 50 CS. Dragon's about to be up in a second. Yeah, so you're just setting up the vision around it. Yeah, I think they're gonna go straight for it. After Red gets his red buff, but Crimson's gonna start it up. Yeah, Mary is 3 for 3 for dragons. Baron's gonna be up in about 55 seconds. Yeah. I don't expect Mary to go for it right at the get go. Ooh, nice hit. Ulti comes out by Brimstone. Sejuani is gonna go down, and now they're gonna go after the Kali who dashes away. And tries to get the charm. Oh, then it just. Ooh. It didn't connect, but it didn't matter because Rayleigh got her down anyway. Yep. Now they'll just take the uh, that bottom inner tower. But yeah, we're at almost 20 minutes into this game, and Marietta is up by 12,500 gold. 
at 20 minutes. Well, that's a, that's a little bit of a lead. Alright. Just a bit. It's just, just a little. I don't think oh. I... Did the ulti come out from, from Nacho? I'm not so sure... Like, I would have hang on to that for team fight, so now he doesn't have it in case there is an engage. But, has to flash away to respect the act, but here comes Ragnarok. Oh no, here comes Royal Lake, slithering in. He's not worried about tower hits, he's just taking it like a boss. And, the killing spree. I mean, he is at 11, 2, and 3 right now. That's the thing you don't want to see from the enemy Olaf. Just look around. Up, oh, 11, 11, 2, and 3. Yeah. I don't like that. But like I said before, if Rayleigh gets it, if, if Olaf gets it, hey, he just axe away with the axes. The Dwani there, the only tank for Upper Iowa is just gets shredded, so it's. Looks like they're all kind of out there in the cold. And I think Marietta is going to start with the Baron. They have very well warded. In fact, the only ward that Upper Iowa has is just right at their base. So I don't think there's much that Upper Iowa can do about this. Yeah, and they're... And they're too scared to leave base because of how far ahead your head is, so this is free. Yep. So now they can just go back out to get some stuff and if they can try to get an inhibitor. I would expect them to go straight through mid lane and just try, yeah, they're already pinging to go, to go straight down the mid. I don't want to say they're going to run it down mid, but I think they're going to run it down mid. <laughs> you start having to just keep count of how many jokes you got. <laughs> Puns after puns. Oh, oh, you know me. I'm full of it. <laughs> the dude tries to get the stone to Sejuani, but cannot be slowed. I mean, that's, that's one thing that uh, Sejuani has got going for her. Can't be slowed. Megadar is trying to go. He does have his ulti. So maybe look to try to get engaged before that Mega Megadar does it fade. But he's only got a couple seconds left. I don't think he's going to be able to utilize it. They are going to get the get power. And the Yumi ulti oh, does come fight. out. Oh no. But the, Dead. the Yumi ulti is just nothing for Ragnar up there. just tanking everything, but it's not enough. Okay, it's two down. Charm oh, actually the charm. connects. And actually flashes. Oh, does, oh, does a flash away, but kind of attaches herself to get away. But that uh, might be enough to finish the first okay. game. Megadar does come out. Oh. He's the ulti so low, no, and he does get picked up while at the fountain. And there's the ace. That was a very nice look. Very nice. Uh. The Nexus towers are down, so all that's left is the Nexus. Can Marietta finish this off? Sejuani so is going to try to go in. The Lux ulti comes out, find her laser. Does not take anyone down. And Marietta will secure game one in a dominating fashion. Yeah. 22 kills to five. A 20k gold lead by the end. And doing it in less than four, 24 minutes. That might be one of the fastest games Marietta's won. But yeah, very, very strong performance there uh, by the, the Pioneers. So we're going to go into the lobby for game two to get that set up here. Uh, they may already be ready just waiting for us. So let's get over there quickly to make sure we're good. Enter is invalid. Hello? Might be running into a small issue here. Try this again. Memory code you entered is invalid. Um, that's a problem. We're gonna take a small break, and we're going to yeah, we try one more time.
They're already in champ. Oh. They started the game without me. Give me a second. Be right back. Yeah, well, we're figuring it out. All right. Okay, well, just let me get in there. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, they were so eager to play game two that they just hit the go button without me getting in the, uh, in the lobby here. So let's get back in here. There we go. That's better. Nice. Uh, Brimstone going kind of like this, trying to speed run the draft 80%, of course. All right, looks like Upper Iowa is going to be on the uh, the blue side. Marietta will be on red side this time. Wait, you're, uh, hold on, 4v5, where's... Max, he's got to get back in the lobby. There we go. <laughs> Uh, why is the lobby the most difficult thing to sit set up? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a curse. I'm just, just walking. Uh, it's in. all good. It's all. As soon as they get ready, we're gonna. Uh, making sure everything's good. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like we need that TikTok song now that they oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. I think we're ready. Maybe. At least everyone's having a good time. Yeah, oh. we're getting some premium wait, bands over here. Wait, are, is everyone good? There we go. I think I think so. There. Taking away the deer because no one wants to have a bad time with me. The Marion takes out the Yumi. Evelyn in instant banned. Although I don't think Randix really played a lot of Evelyn, so I'm not so sure why they, they banned it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess they just. I don't know. Sometimes I too have some. Uh, I wake up in a cold sweat and think Evelyn's trying to get me, so. Yeah, that's fair. And we're gonna see Olaf being banned after how well he played in game one on the Olaf. Yeah, no, I'd get rid of that one quick. And now we see Upper Iowa going for the Seraph oh. uh, Seraphine. And, oh. Ooh. Wow, they didn't even have to think about those two picks. They knew exactly what they were doing. Just instant picking the Lily and Karma. Although, I don't know where Karma's going, and I don't know who's gonna play the Karma. And there's the Maokai. I, I think Upper Iowa has played Maokai several times. Mm -hmm. Let's see who we got. Yeah. Are they picking? We got just a few Top seconds one. left. Oh, oh. Ooh. Main's a good Got pick. a compilation of both of us going, oh, just yeah. like, oh. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. When I see Main in game, that's usually when I leave. It, are they really going to bring out the Twitch? Okay, look. Look. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think they're trolling at this oh point. Oh my gosh! The weak feed oh the shadows. Well, the cane ban is is expected. Uh, Upper Iowa has played a good amount of cane. That's fair. Just... Oh my gosh, they got the Asso. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I see Asso styling all over the map, I'm gonna go. <laughs> And they're just being like, we're hovering, we're hovering. I was like, oh, okay, let's just pick Yasuo. Well, now, here's the th They're really playing the mind games here because, okay, Karma, 
is she in? Mid Karma or a Support Karma? I have no idea. No. Her Yasuo, is that going to be a top Yasuo, a mid Yasuo, or a bot Yasuo? I still have no idea. I have. Oh, I have the, 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 Willie, I can play mid juggle as well. The, the 4D chess that's going on in here. Oh, man. Okay, uh, Nautilus. Nautilus. Okay. So what, it, what is it, an ADC Nautilus, or is it your support Nautilus? I don't know. If you recall, not this past year, but the year before for Worlds, mm -hmm. they played mid Nautilus. Oh my gosh. See, it's just, it's all coming together, folks. Four dimensional chess you're seeing here. MC's got a lot of big brain plays yeah. on Giraffe. Yeah. And we're going to see the, the poppy for the top lane. So it's probably support Nautilus, mid Karma. I'm going to guess that's an AD, uh, a bot Yasuo. I, I think so. Or no, wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are we... What? Why are we are going we, with the Ari? Oh, no. Reflexing the Ari? Don't do it. No, Don't I mean, do it to him. If they pick Ari, it's definitely going to Mewki. I've not seen Brimstone uh, or Lyco play. No, they're going to oh, go to Zone. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> I was about to sit there but, and just okay, be like, but, Don't flex like that, please. But now, where... Is that a Karma Top? <laughs> yeah, Karma Top is a thing. That, that is that's a thing. a thing. That is a thing, yes. I... I... I've never seen Karma Top as a thing. Trust me. It's about to be interesting. And if Poppy's going to... Oh, no, it's not... No. Is... is that a jungle, Poppy? I'm sorry. Uh, folks, I gotta clean my glasses. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I, I don't... clean the glasses real quick. Gotta make sure that my prescription's working. So, what? Hold oh, on, they're still switching. Okay. Okay, I was about to be okay. like, whoa, whoa, to whoa, say, whoa, 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 whoa. Seraphine bot and Vayne mid, what? Okay. <laughs> that's a that's a flex right there. That's It's still a little bit, okay, but it's going to be a Maokai support, which, to be fair, I have seen Maokai support. Not successfully, but I've seen it. They switched it again. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is Vayne mid. It is. What? Oh controlling. Did they swap that before with, yeah, with they, ten seconds? There's yeah. there's a rule where you have to do it before ten seconds. I I don't know, like ten. It was like like right at the ten second mark. Hey fam. I mean, it's a it's a vain mid. I, I. Or or hear me out. Yes. They lane swap. True. That is true. It could be a lane swap. Could be. Hmm. That'll be uh very interesting. I wonder. Yeah. I, I'm... Still, I'm, I'm not gonna as like Senpai does seem like the he likes uh they like tank jungler. Because we first saw the Sejuani, now we're seeing Poppy. Yeah, but I never really saw Poppy as a jungler. Well you see Four dimensional chess like this. I think we're, we're past four D chess. There's we, like five D chess going on we've here. Broken dimensions at this point. Mm -hmm. But just to make sure we all realize, I haven't seen that either. Mm -hmm. And I mean, let me tell you, I've seen NASA's jungle before. I've seen pa uh, Poppy jungle. I mean, I've seen Mundo supports. That's that's a thing. Yeah, but like Mundo's scary. Though. Yeah. True. No matter where Mundo is, I don't want to see him. Walk into my blue buff, there's Mundo hiding right there. I'm like, oh, nope, I'm going home. Mundo goes where he pleases. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out this comp, and I guess we'll find out in another minute or so how this is going to the play out. I mean, I... The prediction? I know. I'm wondering if... I don't know, maybe they're just saying, you know what, play whatever you want. Yeah. Because what we did in game one didn't work, so just play whatever you want and see what happens. Like, throwing spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. Yeah, I mean, well, like, I see the enemy team throw out Yasuo, that's when I'm about to, about to FF at 15. <laughs> However, all right, well, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Poppy, ult, powerful. Nar, ult, annoying and powerful. Vayne, if, get, if she gets ahead... I don't want, like, you don't want to be there. Seraphine is also pretty, pretty nice, as we saw in the UK show. Kind of, mm -hmm. the charm was uh, the death of multiple characters. Mm -hmm. Maokai, 
and just if you're not paying attention can just all and root all of your team which that's true i almost forgot i gotta give the prediction outcome from the first game my bad my bad everyone hey i said i said it everyone saw me say it well now i gotta get the next one started up as the game is beginning so let's get the uh, next prediction out all right i'm gonna put my money on marietta i'm gonna lower the time limit on this one though just because they already know what the champions are i don't want to Lilietta is going to be very interesting. Poppy, what? I think interesting. The, I think the Lily will be fine. Uh, Relic has played uh, a lot of Lily. Oh, yeah. I, I believe Lily will be fine. Just like Lily is an interesting champion. And by interesting, I mean, oh my gosh, playing against Lily. It's not a All fun right, time. So let's get in here. Just playing the game load up here real quickly. But we should have it up here. There we go. So Marietta College versus Upper Iowa. We're seeing another invade by Marietta in the bot lane. Do you think they'll put a ward down this time? You know what? I'm not holding my breath for it. <laughs> See, I think that um the, the no ward kind of kind of strat worked last time. I think they're going to go for it again. They are going to get pinged out. I think Upper Iowa knows they're they're there. Oh, they put a ward down. Oh my goodness, they put a- and oh my god, and there's a Malkai! No, Princess! Oh, oh no, there's Princess with a dodge! Oh my god. If he gotten hooked, he would be- he'd be dead. That'd be one dead tree. Yep. Princess Rose... ...apparently is also a 4D chess Grandmaster. Able to dodge things with only one flash. Are they- Are they going for another pick? I, I hope. Nah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're oh, just... uh, Poppy Jungle is apparently huge and low elo. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes here. Look, so, Marietta actually steals the red buff. But yeah, so I know we're responding to chat messages like three minutes later because of the delay. But yeah, we you know Seraphine uh, ADC is a thing. We we've seen that quite a bit. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's not too surprising at all. The, the poppy one did caught me off guard, but then again, maybe I, I don't play low elo. I don't play rank at all, so how much I, I don't know what, yeah. what's played a low elo. You see, when he says he doesn't play elo, he means that he's already grandmaster. He doesn't need to prove himself anymore. I think my highest rank is like gold in TFT. That's better than me. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, this is. We're definitely seeing that on. Um... Oh! Yeah, the one thing with oh. this. Yeah, great hook there by Maxi. But it is a good call to put the Seraphine in the bot lane for Upper Iowa, just because they they can poke down the Yasuo. So, and especially, like, getting him rooted, it's going to be very difficult for him to engage if he's get, constantly getting rooted by Seraphine. But that said, he does have a small CS lead, but yeah, like right there, gets yeah. rooted. It's going to be really difficult for him to... It, it's almost like there's kind of a, a wind wall against the uh, the Yasuo. Yeah. Oh. Super sad. Yeah, I've just seen this matchup here in the, the top lane. So, Nar is ahead on CS compared to... Oh, nice hook there Ooh. again! Taxi with the hooks. Yeah, once again, no, there's, there can't be a follow-up, though, because Brimstone doesn't have ranged in. He can't throw his sword. He, he can throw a little tornado, but it's not going to do a whole lot. Hey, it looks cool. It does. And here at the analyst desk, we're all in here for the roll of four. Yes. It could be an epic fail, but if it looks cool, it's fine. 
<laughs> uh, we're seeing a huge, huge CS difference we're getting in jungle. Lilia with 32, Pop with 20. I think part of it is he's been able to try to deny Senpai or some of the stuff. It, I mean, taking away the red buff already gave a, a nice advantage for a great win ball there by Brimstone. Well timed. Farm is doing very well against an R. Another hook there. Not a lot of follow through. We see Relic is invading uh, oh, his blue jungle. Might be running into the poppy actually. So Meganar is going to come out. Oh no! But it's not level 6 though, so you can't yeah. pop a, the ulti. But that may give Relic a chance to move in because. Nar just popped Neganar. Doesn't have not level six. Mm -hmm. So we may see Rayla kind of maneuvering around. Yeah, so let's take a look at what's going on here. He's just sitting there, flagging. I think they're gonna be looking for a possible dive. Yeah. I'm just gonna go back to just see what he does. Waiting, waiting quite a bit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. They're They're six, away. Oh. And Nard gets the first blood onto Relic. Uh-oh. Poppy's coming up. Poppy, no. They're going to try to get nice Ooh. hook there onto the Maokai. And why did the camera kill us outright when that was happening? Like, we, we missed the kill there. Hey, I mean, like, I don't know what you're talking about. I like I watching characters just walk around. I don't know. But, okay. I... There we go. And, like, it was able to take out uh, Nar as well. Yeah, it looks like Yuki went up to kind of help with that, but Vayne and Poppy are there, so we may be seeing a possible fight in the river. Uh. Hey, Poppy's going to be moving a bit. Uh, Here comes Poppy. Lyco trying to Poppy. get... Oh. Ooh. I could does get very low. Can I see the flat? Oh, doesn't need it. Uh, but sushi rice getting caught. So it's a two for one right now, favorite Myriad. They're gonna go straight for Ooh. Got out of there just in time. Ooh. I don't know if he's gonna make it out of here. Nice. No, does get slept by uh, Lilio's ult. I checked the settings. Oh, everything there is fine. Just interesting that the um, some of the callouts are showing up in Spectre Mode. I thought they fixed that. Yeah, that wasn't there in Game One, but that's okay. Now you just see what everyone buys and whatever people call up flashes and stuff. Man, and Poppy gonna try to chase out Rayla, but. Really, it's not too concerned. Oh, so he should be concerned too. Deep. Uh oh, it's gonna, get, gonna get slow. Senpai, gotta help. Oh no. Oh, railing. Tries to again. Yeah, tries to go, in, but does get shut down. Gonna try to get the hook. Just barely misses the poppy. Did you just smite a minion? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just, um, just, just making sure. Oh, uh, no. Now, Brimstone's gonna be getting onto Seraphine, putting some damage. Windball comes up. Oh. Does get rid of it, gonna get the re engage. And Brimstone has had a pretty considerable CS lead. Yeah. We're not seeing the mage, the, the big gold differential from the last game. It's only about a little less than 2,000 gold difference, but Brimstone is going to pop the ulti. Thanks. Yep, there it is. You keep getting the kill. Yep. 
Brimstone does all the work and Yuki steals the kill. Recorded. Yeah. I mean, it's Yasuo. Me either. Can either steal everybody's kills or live long enough to have your kills stolen. That's true. Okay, right, putting a lot of pressure onto that uh, bot tower. Get it down to only one plate left. Actually, there's no place, it's just a tower. Oh, see, Lyco does take, uh, start to take a CS lead. And Mary is going to start the Cloud Drake. No vision down for Upper Iowa, so I think they're going to be able to take that for free. Oh, I want to smash the vision. Yeah, looks like Relic may be looking for a couple more kills. I have to respect that turret though, but both Yuki and Maxi are there, so we may be seeing a possible dive. Oh. There's a great hook. Oh. Now we're seeing a 3v3 fight going on here. Brimstone in the back line, but he's going to get taken down by the vein. But, but Malka is going to go down along with Poppy, so it's just the vein that's left. You see Reyes holding the line. By themselves. Trying to stay away from Maxi. But is killed by Miyuki. You may dodge the uh, the hook. You may dodge the... Uh, whatever it is that Reyes does. But you can't dodge the beach ball. And Maxi didn't dodge the turret. So the shutdown went to a vein for that. But still, it's like a 3 for 1. So yeah. very favorable for Marietta. Taking the gold lead up by over 4,000, 11 and a half minutes into the game. Uh, 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 Michael's got to be careful. He's uh, getting very low. Camera, why did you do this to us? We want to see if we made it. Does he make it? Oh my it? gosh. Oh, oh, that shield. That shield. The save. I think that came out right up on cooldown. If he if he hit that like one millisecond too late, he'd be. Oh, oh. no. Oh no. He's just gotta get out of there, because I mean Vayne is looking for him. Just run. Yeah, there. That looks like area's gonna be collapsing onto the mid lane. Tries to hook in, doesn't quite connect. Dodging the hooks. Well, you want to dodge those hooks. If you get hit by one of those hooks, you're pretty much done. I mean, fair, but like, every, like so far, like, Max has been pretty clutch the hooks. I was like, oh, whoa, we're dodging. Whoa, oh, sorry. We'll see some pressure going on in the, the mid lane. Uh, he the catch probably gets five. the hook. And here comes the ulti with the charm in the root, but I think everyone's going to be able to dodge those. Yeah, so if we look at CS differentials, we see top and bot lane doing pretty well. Brimstone ahead by over 40 CS this time. Uh, Lyco up by just a couple CS. So very not uh, not the the substantial difference we saw in the the last game. Wow, that was pretty nice by Sunfall being able to get two tower shots. Never Mountain Drake will be up in less than a minute. So I would expect Marietta to 
a good thing set up for They already have some vision deep into Upper Iowa's jungle. Is it really? Is he, let me go for the kill. He's gonna try to go up and maybe push the top lane or try to get a kill onto Gnar. Or is he gonna go for the Rift Herald? I don't know. I guess he's one's. Is he going for Scuttle Crab? Yeah, he's going for Scuttle Crab, I think. Good check. Yeah, he got Scuttle Crab. Now he's gonna work his way up. Electric problem is about to get. Nice. Yeah, he's got a problem. That freeze! Just in mid-air. Huge play there by Relic. And the mini wave is coming, so they should be able to push this tower. The only problem, though, is with Relic being up there. Now he's going to start working his oh. way down. Now he's getting caught. Has to flash away. Nice oh. depth charge there. Grimson with the ulti. Doesn't quite connect, but Relic is getting into position. Oh. Grimson does go down. Yeah. This doesn't seem like really able to make anything happen. Yeah, it's just the rest of the pioneers were able to collapse. Uh, yeah, teleports were being burned to to get down to the the dragon pit, and now Maria should be able to secure this. just going into his jungle. I mean, at 6, 2, and 5, this is very scary at this point. Marietta is up by over 5,000 gold 16 and a half minutes into this game. We're going to see the root coming out for the Seraphine. Not going to do a whole lot, though. Guys get the hook on the poppy, doesn't quite connect. Oh no, Senpai ain't no. Mm. Crimson there with the double kill. That should be a free tower. Interesting choice with the ult usage by Gnar. Like, it'd be better to push him into the wall to actually get that stun. Yeah. But Relic was there to take him out. And they sh I think they're going to try to get this turn out. Poppy's going to be coming not too far behind. There, there's oh. the Poppy with the shutdown. And that's going to make things a little bit trickier for Mike, But they still get the tower. Oh. Oh. It's a knockout, but it gets rooted in the process. The root's just gonna, gonna end that. But here comes Maxi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. With the depth charge. Not... Oh, and Brimstone shows up too. Senpai trying their best, and it's just not enough. See, now this time, like, Laika did all the work, and Brimstone comes in with the kill steal. Reported. Kale Sam all over the place. Try to get the engage on for Gnar. Oh. The Vayne is there as well. Refsy is going to go down by the Vayne. Oh. Oh. This may be a problem. They may have overstayed their welcome. Brimstone's going to go down, so it's a two for nothing there. Well, I mean, they did have to pop it down, so I guess we'll say two for one. But he's just throwing a tower. Feel my hair. Yep. Just free pushing. Okay, so what have we got here? We got Baron in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna work on that yet. Dragon is gonna be up for two minutes. There is a about a 
5,400 no, 5, gold difference at less than 20 minutes into the game. Pretty big. Yeah. 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 Will, will really try to go. Uh, he's not going to try to go for the Rift Herald. It's not enough time with the with Baron spawn in 30 seconds. Ooh. Oh. Tries to go for the Juke, doesn't get it. Check him right off. At this point, Marietta has, uh, has control over the, the Red Jungle. And they're going to um. catch the Gnar. Gnar pops the ulti and does get Maxi, but has to flash away. Uh, it's but, not enough. Uh, I think that's like the biggest issue. This game, everyone's getting caught out, getting hit by these stuff, getting picked. It's, Marietta should be able to pick them apart. Yeah, with two down, they should be able to push the inhibitor tower. Probably not get the inhibitor. They even, you know, they're only just going to get some damage onto the inhibitor tower, but they're not going to be able to get a whole lot from this. I mean, all they can do is just kind of Get some vision control. There is red bot. They can't. They can't get that to break down. Yeah, now Infernal Drake's gonna be up, so they're gonna be like, okay, let's go for it. And the fail and the blast come by Max, even with the sad emo, because she was not in the right <laughs> position to get into the Dragon Pit. But Maria does secure the Infernal Drake. He gets a great hook onto Maokai. No, it's gotta get There's out of there. There's the Death Charge, though. Get now, out of there, Senpai. That... Oh. Oh. Oh, they turned it around. Whoa. Yeah. They got Senpai's attention. Uh, the charm oh. to come out does get Rayleigh, but he's fine. But Maxi is going to go down. Rayleigh's going to take down Poppy, though, so it's a one for one trade. Oh, no. But now here comes Brimstone. Oh, going to go straight for the vein. Brimstone, go. Got the slow. But the, oh, man. That is a double kill for Relic. So four. So the only one that's left up is Falkai. And Marietta is pinging the Baron. They're like, okay, let's go for Baron. We're good now. I mean, now we're at almost ten thousand gold difference. Not quite. But yeah, Mario is just able to capitalize on these team fights. Yeah, it doesn't seem Upper Iowa is really coordinated with that. So it's just easy for Mary to pick off people one by one. Yeah. Even Upper Iowa knows that Mary has got to be going for the, the bear and they're going straight Man. for it. Where is Narga? Oh, he's got teleport, so he can jump in when he's there. They're trying to get the, the wave under control, and I would expect him to, to move in. There is about a third of wow. health, and Mary is going to peel off, try to chase the pop. He forces a flash. I don't have to worry that. Uh, going to flash him, but oh, that's too late. So we'll secure the Baron and take out Poppy in the, in the process. Two for the price of one. We'll take that. It doesn't even cost him anything, actually. I'll just free. Yeah. Yep. Right now it makes sense because we don't really see the other lanes push far enough to, to rotate them just yet. But by the time they can get mid, open up, then get the inhibitor. Oh, we see Maokai popping the ulti. The charm comes out, but it gets blocked. A great shield there onto Maxi. Yeah. 
Oh. Disrespectful. Okay, Ghost for the ulti does get Relic, but... Oh, he's double time. He's gonna try to get out of there. Great well, shield. Uh, assault, the back gets slapped. My recapital. Main is dead. That's okay. a triple kill. Oh no. Brimstone. Brimstone with Brimstone. the block. Oh, yes! yes! That was a pencil kill. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then he got shut down. I feel like we've seen this somewhere. The ADC gets the penta and gets shut down. Oh my god. Is that War Cyclone playing? <laughs> That's one Nexus Tower down, that's the other Nexus Tower down. That's gonna be a good yep. GG. Yes, it, yep. With that ace, they will secure the win. And they will take down Upper Iowa 2-0. to zero. So, congratulations there uh, to the, the Pioneers on the, just both games very dominating there. And gotta give it to Brimstone, I mean... He did have a really good game one, just being able to farm, get so far ahead in uh, in his CS. And then game two, coming out with the Yasuo. Struggled a little bit early on, but that wasn't a problem. Finishing up the game with a, a pentakill. But Relic also doing a great job setting up a lot of the, the kills. Finishing 11, 3, and 12 himself. Dominating performances. Mm -hmm. I'm just dominating. Yeah, very good one. That's not what I wanted. I wanted that. That's what I wanted. But... All right, folks. So congratulations on the, the great win by the Pioneers. So just as a reminder, tomorrow we will be hosting our Esports Ohio League of Legends scholarship tournament. So we will start that at 10 a.m. So be sure to, to come check that out. We have three schools signed up for it. Uh, I, I, and they're really evenly matched too. So we, I know with the Rocket League tournament we had last week, uh, there were a lot of one-sided matches. I don't think that's going to happen this time. So I think we're going to see some very exciting games. Uh, but yeah, check that out tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then on Tuesday, our League of Legends team will return where they'll be playing up against Trine University at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Marietta Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at Marriott Esports. You can check out all of our past matches at bit.ly slash Marriott Esports. Let's give a round of applause to Dylan Shoulders here helping with commentating. <laughs> it's always a blast to have you here helping yeah. with the uh, talking about League of Legends. Always a blast to see you guys around. Yeah. All right. So thank you all for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day.